Hey, it's Sarah with Loaves and Dishes. And today I am going to be showing you how you can freeze bread dough. So I have already posted um, two recipes using this bread dough. Um, I made yeast rolls and I made just, that was my cat thanks. <laughs> um, I made yeast rolls and I made bread and I wanted to go ahead and make some more dough and I wanted to show you how you can put it in the freezer to save it. This dough is really easy to make ahead um, and then it doesn't take very long to bake. So if you go ahead and make it, pop it in your freezer, then when you need some bread, voila, you have some and it will be fresh baked. So let's get into it. Um, okay, so this is the bread dough recipe. Um, this is from a previous video. Um, and I'm just making the sandwich bread. Um, and if you want to see how I did the yeast rolls, it's the same recipe, but I did split the dough up differently. Um, I will link that up top. And I got a couple questions on this video when I posted it to our Facebook group. And the questions were, do you need to let the yeast bloom? And the answer is no, just mix it all up. And then the other question was, what kind of flour was I using? Because there's multiple kinds of flour. I'm just using all purpose flour. You don't need a special like bread flour or anything like that. Just regular all purpose flour will do just fine. And um, like I said, this is a super easy recipe. You just dump everything in the bowl and then mix it up um, <clears throat> and then give it a good knead um, for about seven to 10 minutes, I think is about how long I... Binks is yet again ruining this video. <laughs> um, anyways, so here I am kneading the dough. Uh, you just knead it until it's not um, until it's all come together and it's not really sticking to the board anymore. Um, and it will get to that point even if you're not continuing to put more flour on the board. So. I got tired of kneading there and I just punched it a couple times. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy making bread because kneading is a good way to like kind of like work out some frustrations. It's like good for your body. But then also kneading dough kind of makes my hands hurt. <laughs> and then it, it seems like it always takes forever. But, um, you know, it's worth it. I love uh, the fresh bread like right out of the oven. It's just delicious. And I'm almost there with my dough. You can see that it's not, it's like really come together. It's not like all split up and has big cracks running through it anymore. Um, and it's really started to smooth out and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it will still taste good no matter what. But. So once you get it all kneaded, then you're going to let it rise for about an hour. And, um, so before I put it in the freezer, I let it rise and then I label my bags with just what it is and um, the date and how long it can be in the freezer. And I'm gonna err on the side of caution and say three months, but it could probably last up to six months. I don't know that I would go longer than six months, but that is up to you. So I remove this from my bowl and then I am gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of flour just because I'm putting it in this plastic bag and I don't want it to stick to the plastic bag while it freezes. Um, that would be bad because then you, you know, you've got dough that is stuck to a plastic bag when you're trying to thaw it. Um, and I am going to split it in half because I'm going to use this for, uh, like loaf, like sandwich bread. Um, if you wanted to do yeast rolls, I would go ahead and portion out the yeast rolls at this point. And the other thing I would do if you're going to do yeast, yeast rolls is I would portion them out and I would put them on some parchment paper and stick them on a tray and freeze them that way for just a little bit until they're you know kind of solid and then I would put them in a plastic bag because if you portion them out like this and stick them right in the plastic bag they're just gonna you know stick together they're not gonna freeze individually which is what you would want if you were doing yeast rolls um, 
but you just stick it in the bag and you know I was trying to use an appropriate size bag and it was actually really hard to get this dough in the bag <laughs> so probably a gallon Ziploc bag would have been just fine but I wanted to use one that was smaller I don't I don't know why <laughs> I'm just giving it a few a few tosses just to make sure it doesn't need anything else and um, sticking it in the bag and the bags are labeled oh that one's not okay well I have to use that one first then and then it can freeze in your freezer for up to three months if you want to see more recipes like these, check out loavesanddishes.net. If you want to hear more from myself and my mom, we have a podcast. It's called Dorks with Sporks, and you can listen to that wherever you listen to podcasts. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We put out a new video every Monday through Friday, and you can follow us on Facebook at Loaves and Dishes for more. And everything we used in today's video will be linked in the description box below. Thanks for watching.